Authentication for BYOD. The SmoothWell makes use of RADIUS accounting to allow users to connect and authenticate their own wireless devices to the network, known as Bring Your Own Device, or BYOD. This has the added advantage of not having to install additional software on the user's device. The SmoothWall links your organization's directory service to its RADIUS server. As a network administrator, you can configure your wireless network infrastructure to authenticate users using the RADIUS server so that the users can use their directory service accounts as wireless client login details. Here we will cover the two most common. RADIUS accounting for BYOD. I want the SmoothWall to be a filter but not a firewall. The user connects to an SSID or wireless network. The wireless LAN access point connects with the WLAN controller, which goes to Active Directory to verify credentials. It can be accepted or rejected. If it's accepted, a message is passed via the WLAN controller to the access point, granting them access to the network. Once access is granted, the wireless controller should be configured to send a message to the smooth wall. The smooth wall can then apply the appropriate filtering and rules to the user based on group membership or on the default group if none have been specifically set for that user. The user may now access the internet. Radius authentication and accounting for BYOD only works for Active Directory. I want the smooth wall to be the authenticator. See our video on setting up an Active Directory. If you want BYOD without an Active Directory, your wireless controller must support framed IP addresses. The user connects to an SSID or wireless LAN. The wireless LAN access point communicates back to the WLAN controller. The wireless controller attempts to authenticate the user via SmoothWall. The SmoothWall confirms with Active Directory. It can be accepted or rejected. If it's accepted, a message is passed via the smooth wall to the access point and the wireless controller granting them access to the network. Once access is granted, the wireless controller should be configured to send a message to the smooth wall. The smooth wall can then apply the appropriate filtering and rules to the user based on group membership or the default group if none have been specifically set for that user. The user may now access the internet. There is little additional configuration required on the smooth wall for BYOD when an Active Directory is in place. You will need an authorized RADIUS client. This is typically your wireless controller, although some providers send RADIUS accounting messages from a cloud service. Once you've identified the IP address, you will need to create or set a shared secret. Browse to Services, Authentication, BYOD, on the SmoothWall interface. Click Add New Radius Client and enter a logical name for your controller. Next, set the IP address. You will need to enter a shared secret, which you set on your controller. Enter it again to confirm. Click Add to save. You will return to the BYOD screen and after a moment see the client appear. As users are authenticated to the wireless controller, the RADIUS accounting message will arrive at the smooth wall giving us a framed IP address and username. We may go off to any configured authentication silos to identify the groups that the user is a member of, though it is not essential that they are stored. If a user, such as Tobias Jones, logged into the wireless network, we would receive a RADIUS accounting message, and the smooth wall would work through the various directories until it finds a match for the username, and provides a user group. Here, Tobias happens to be in the top directory, so we would match Tobias to the students in this example.